Hey party people, welcome to today's tutorial on how to make a waste pack from a thrifted puffer vest. puffer vest. The hood was left over from another project, so definitely not planned. It just kind of came to me like a song I wrote. <laughs> so if you want to see how I did it and DIYs are your thing, keep watching. There are about four videos in the series, so I hope you will check all of them out. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so let's get into it. Directions Waste Pack Remove the hood from the vest. Before you cut it off, make sure you leave at least one and a half inches to your cut edge. Then fold your hood in half. The idea is to get it to take shape naturally. Pin the front and the back together temporarily so you can figure out how long of a zipper you may need. Draw a straight line along the cut edge. This is what I will follow when I use the overlock serger machine. At this point, you're not trying to make both sides even, you're just trying to get that raw edge looking neat. The goal here is a clean, finished edge. If you don't have an overlock machine, no worries, you can use another technique to finish the edge. Consider turning it and doing a top stitch or finishing it with seam binding. My only regret by using the serger was that I didn't have the correct color thread. On the branding and patches, so on any of the branding or patches that you might have made, it's easier to put these on while your project is still relatively flat. If you want to know how I made mine, there's a video already posted, so I hope that you will check this out. Leather tab. I made a simple leather tab with a carabiner style D-ring, cut letters, and a rivet. This is super easy. Here are the finished dimensions. As an alternative, if you don't want to use leather, you can use webbing instead. I had some left over from the gym bag. The vinyl letters are basically stickers, so just make sure that you buy the right ones for your surface. Regular adhesive stickers are for hard surfaces like wood or plastic, and heat transfer are for materials like webbing or t-shirts. So let's do the heat transfer vinyl letters first. Use the grid and the clear transfer paper on the top side of the letters. The grid is helpful if you want to line something up. Peel off the back, removing every part that is not the letters. I highly recommend getting a weeding tool, especially if you plan on doing more projects like this. Lay the letters down on your project. Heat transfer stickers stick when they're ironed down, so make sure you follow the manufacturer's directions. The iron should be set on hot, but don't use any steam, and use a cotton, cloth, or some type of barrier in between. Press firmly for a few minutes, then peel off the plastic film. Regular adhesive. That works pretty much the same way, except you don't need to apply any heat. You just peel and stick. To finish, feed the self loop through the D-ring carabiner. Make a hole using your hand or rotary hole punch, then hammer on the rivet. If you need more information on how to finish leather edges, I've got videos on how to do that. And I also have more videos on easy DIY projects that you can make to decorate your bag. Adjust front and back. There's a good chance that the front and the back may not be the same width, so you have to adjust it accordingly. To make mine the same, I added small tucks or darts to the back section, same spot as the quilting. Then I top stitched them in place at the sewing machine, sewing on the patches. It's important that you balance this out since you will be closing this with a zipper. 
Side release buckle. Side release buckle has two parts, metal and plastic. The metal has a top side and an underside. The underside of mine has a flange or a bar. It seemed like a minor detail at first because it will fit into the metal part either way, but this is an important detail to figure out because when the flange slash bar is facing down or in the underneath position, the webbing, once it's fed through, functions properly. If you pull it, it will stay in place. And then to adjust it, you have to loosen the loop. One side, you will attach a short loop and thread this through the silk part of the hardware. Measure out how much webbing you will need to go around your waist. A good place to start is your waist plus six inches. You're gonna need some extra to make it adjustable, but don't cut anything until you're sure. Clip it in place with binder clips and try it on. Attach one end of the webbing to the waist pack. The other end will go to the plastic spring clip. If you watch my videos, you know I be extra. So I made these transition tabs. They are completely optional and are decorative, but they are possible if your machine can sew through lots of layers like mine. I made these to camouflage the cut ends of the webbing. added a leather tab to the cut end of the webbing. If your hood does not have them already because mine did, this is the time to put them on now. You wanna feed in your round elastic cord and add your toggles and end caps. Setting the zipper, measure the opening, divide in half and mark with pins. Fold your zipper in half and also mark with pins. Match up the centers, both sides of pins, then top stitch the zipper in place. I picked a zipper that was about two inches shorter than the total opening width, so dropping it in was easy. Then I closed up the spaces and gaps with a bit more stitching. Final touches. An additional thing I did was to sew a diagonal stitch along the edge of the webbing. This was to make sure everything was secure and flat. Okay, that's it, done, finished. There are no more parts to the part part. Congratulations, you have finished a waste pack. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this Thrift Flip Accessories Edition. If you want to support my channel, please comment and hit the notification bell. When you do, the video ranks higher with YouTube and lets them know to share this video with more people who might be interested in this content. It wouldn't be a DIY party with no people, so the more the merrier. As always, I wish you bag success and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.